Cliff, I don't think this is any of your business. No? Bobby, I'm very sorry. We'll go someplace else. Come on, Cliff. Oh, yeah, I don't want to upset Bobby. You guys go on with your celebration. Bye. Goodbye. Cliff, please. No, no wait a minute. Don't take a minute. Uh, excuse me. Forgot. I got called about an hour ago from Mr. Speary over in research and development from Wentworth Tool and Die. So? Well, he told me that you had agreed to let Bobby field test this new drill bit that he developed. That's right, the Tundra Torque. And you are gonna use it in that Canadian field to try to hit that low sulfur crude. Cliff, if that drill bit works, it'll mean millions of dollars in future sales for you and Wentworth Tool and I. Well, I know that. But we're gonna have to have somebody else find that out for us. What do you mean? I told Bobby he could use it. But he can't, because it needs my okay. You see, Catherine, you're only one vote, and that's not enough. And never in this life am I going to let a Ewing get his hand on anything from Wentworth Tool and Die. That's the way it is. And don't worry about that check. I'll take care of it. Bobby, I'm really sorry. I'll get it. Where's Cliff Afton? Hi, Catherine. Nice of you to drop in. How dare you embarrass me in front of Bobby last night? Oh, that was your fault for offering him my drill. You had no right to contradict what I told him. Of course I had the right. Mama left me that in her will. Without that drill, Bobby will lose you in oil. <laughs> and just how much do you think I care about that? You want JR to win? Doesn't make any difference to me. Oh, you vicious little man. I will not let you hurt Bobby like that. Oh, now, wait a minute, Catherine. I'm warning you, Cliff. This time you have gone too far. No, you have gone too far. Afton, stay out of this. I will not. How dare you come into our house and talk to Cliff like this? Now, if he wants to stay out of the Ewing fight, that is his business. Out? Are you kidding? What he's doing puts him right in the middle of it. And he's going to make J.R. the winner. You listen. Whatever, whatever Cliff is doing, it is his affair. You just don't understand what's going on. Oh, I understand. I understand a lot more than you think. Catherine, you know how your mother set things up. Two out of three of you have to agree on any major decisions. Afton, this is not your battle. And this is not your house. So why don't you just turn yourself around and get out of here now? Cliff, you have not heard the end of this. Well, what about you? I didn't know you were that much on my side. Look, don't think I stood up for you because I agree with you, Cliff. Why did you? Because I love you, and I won't have your sister come into this house and put you down. Well, it's nice to have you fight for me. Well, if I were you, I would call up Pam right away and let her know exactly what Catherine is up to. What, about the drill? No, about Bobby. Can't you see what she's doing? Oh, no, 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 wait, wait a minute. Now, are you trying to tell me that you think that Catherine is after Bobby? Well, of course she is. Didn't you hear her? She doesn't care about that drill. What she really wants is Bobby. Now, wait a minute. I think that's a pretty big assumption, don't you? No. No, not from what I've seen. Why do you think Catherine is being so wonderfully helpful to Bobby? His own wife isn't. And Catherine is taking advantage of every little opening she can get. I don't know. I mean, I don't think I'd put anything past Catherine, but I don't know that I believe that. Sweetheart, take a minute and look outside of yourself. You'll see an awful lot of things. Hello. Hi. Hi. Well, 
I finally got through to France. <laughs> what a problem that was. You got through to France? Yep. I called Pam. I thought she should be warned about Catherine and Bobby. Have you lost your mind? Cliff, you've seen how Catherine is manipulating him. It's only right that Pam knows about it. Are you crazy? Now, what if, what if Pam comes back and sides with him? <sighs> well, I'd hope she does. Bobby's her husband. The drill, Afton. I'm talking about the drill. What if she comes back and votes with Catherine to give Bobby the drill? Then I lose the Canadian deal. You're not involved in the Canadian deal. But no. I will be if he's forced to sell. Selfish, and he'll have to sell if he doesn't have the drill. What kind of man are you anyway? Oh, I'm so tired of being everybody's patsy. For once, I got a shot at the big brass ring and you call my sister the only person that can knock it out of my reach. You don't <sighs> care at all what happens to Pam, do you? Oh, for once, I think about myself. <sighs> for once? No, not for once, for always. Cliff, you are the only person you ever do think of.